Hello, in this video we will demonstrate how to perform the 3D slab for endoanalysis. From the original load screen we can look at the 3D plane axial screen and slice and look for the endo roots uh, as the traditional way of looking at it. When we do the endo slab it will apply to the 3D mode. The standard 3D templates reside in the right panel. Press the other tab to select the CT standard one as the recommended template. You can use other templates, but this one is recommended. Put the 3D in a foot projection, which is similar to what you see here on the axial screen from a CBT image. To do that, simply click the letter F in the upper right box and you'll get this uh, axial view. Next click the slab tab. Hey that rhymes. Slab tab then click the slab box. The thickness usually comes out to a 10 millimeter slice thickness but we want to take this down to one and you can do it a number of ways. Arrow down bring the blue tab arrow over or simply click the the number one box the simplest way to do that so you will note that the slice thickness is at its lowest for the slab which is one millimeter if necessary you can adjust the window level or contrast brightness by holding the right and left click together on the mouse and then just moving it in a diagonal northeast to southwest direction till you get the desired level of the image quality that you wish. You can double click on the 3D image itself, make it a little larger, or if you press the middle wheel down, you can zoom in and out. Right clicking recenters. Here in this axial 3D slab view, you can see an endo calcification. Here on the left side, you can see the endo root splitting. I'm just going to slice this back and forth a little bit so you get appreciation of that. It's very subtle, but nevertheless, you can see it very nicely here in the endo slab. Here is a side by side comparison endo slab 3D and here in the CT. Uh, you can see the split in both views but you can see how it's very nicely highlighted with the 3D. So here again is side-by-side -side analysis from the 3D slab view and also here from the axial CBCT view. You can see it nicely in both views but it just highlights very nicely here in the endo slab. Here at the upper left we switch to the sagittal view and doing an evaluation to slicing for uh, radiolucency in the apical region as well as uh, the sinus floor and evaluating and you can see the comparison between the two. So the 3D slab has other uses beside endo and feel free to use it and employ it uh, in other views as well if, uh, as, if needed and wanted as an additional option. Thank you for watching this video on endoslab functions.